Parts Express, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components. Hi, I'm Joe with Parts Express. You know, one of the things I like to do here is highlight products that will solve problems for people. And I think this is one of them. This is a digital to analog audio converter, or just DAC for short. And what this DAC is going to do for you is a variety of things. First and foremost, a lot of you have new televisions that have digital audio outputs, but no analog audio outputs. That means that if you want sound through external speakers, you can plug it into your stereo if it has a, a digital input, maybe optical or coaxial. But if you have an older stereo that doesn't accept uh, digital inputs, you're sort of out of luck. This is where the DAC comes in. You can uh, plug in an optical or coaxial digital audio source, and uh, then it puts out uh, analog line outs here or here. Uh, you can also use headphones. It functions as a standalone headphone amplifier in that regard. You can get TV music and dialogue out to your stereo with no problem. Uh, one thing it also does is it has a USB hookup on it, so you can use this as an external sound card for your computer. You may notice uh, some hum or buzzing or even just low quality audio from your onboard sound system of your computer, but if you can get the audio processing outside the box, you can sometimes yield much better results. The stack's good for that, too. It's either powered through USB if you're using it as an external sound card, or it's got this AC adapter and USB cord included if you're just using it as a standalone unit with your TV or stereo. It'll also accept digital audio hookups from your CD or DVD player and processes up to a 24-bit, 196 kilohertz signal. We think this DAC is a real problem solver and a nice addition to your audio arsenal. Over 15,000 products, free same-day shipping on most orders, 45-day no-hassle returns and free tech support. PartsExpress.com, the number one source for audio, video and speaker building components.